Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, Annette. How are you? I'm doing well. Good, good. Well, thanks for hopping on with me. Um, I guess first off, I just wanted to start by, you know, you introducing yourself and where you are from and maybe what got you interested in short-term rentals in the beginning. And we'll go from there. Okay, um, basically, uh, my name is Annette, and I um, reside in Florida, and um, I got into short-term rentals because um, I am also a registered nurse who was feeling uh, a little burnout um, last year from nursing. Um, this year, it will be like 26 years that I've been a nurse. Wow. <laughs> so I was just a little bit on the burnout. Um, so I I resigned from my W-2 in April of last year and decided just I needed a break. And during that break, I discovered um, short-term rentals and thought, wow, that could be fascinating. Um, something I could learn to do to teach um, uh, my teenager so she could go off to college and maybe this would be something she could do to earn money while she was in college. So that's how it, how my story um, started. Okay, very interesting. So, so you kind of had burned your bridges, so to speak, it sounds like. You just weren't even sure what you were going to do next, but you knew you were going to be done doing what you were doing. <laughs> I needed to do yeah, something. I, and I knew I needed a break. I knew, um, you know, the, the world of nursing and me the medicine, of course, changed, you know, with with COVID and even before that, I, I just was uh, tired. Nursing is all I ever wanted to do. And um, I was just tired. I was, you know, just tired. <laughs> well, it's a very demanding career. And I mean, I, I'm sure everyone thanks you for what you, what you did as a nurse, because mm -hmm. that's very oftentimes thankless work and very hard work. So thank you so much for that. Uh, so, so, Deciding that short-term rentals might be your next step, what was, what was your biggest, you know, trial in getting started, or what was what were your challenges that you had to overcome? So starting short-term rental, um, my biggest thing to overcome that this is not passive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what anyone says in any video that you look at or any uh, webinar that you join. Uh, short-term rentals is not passive so that um wow it, it, it was a shocker because I just thought it was going to be passive <laughs> okay, I'm going to get all of these places and just they're just gonna you know run themselves and that is not how it works right right um so that that has been the biggest um hur hurdle for me um one of my strong points as a nurse is um problem solving and so I have that strong point because I have the knowledge, right, of nursing. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't with short-term rentals. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my problem-solving techniques have uh, changed. But the one thing about me is I'm resilient. So, um, you know, whatever obstacle it is, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to face that obstacle and... Um, you know, figure out a way around it. Um, there's roadblocks, but there's more road than roadblocks. I like that. I like that phrase. So, so yeah, I guess, um, you know, getting started in short-term rentals, were, were you starting kind of on your own? Did you have some research that you'd kind of done and were following upon? Or what was the point where you decided, hey, I need some extra help here. Maybe I need a mentor or a coach or some kind of more structured instruction? So in the beginning, I started off um, on my own, just kind of looking, you know, taking on various things from Facebook, you know, going, joining in groups, um, Instagram, uh, YouTube videos, just kind of looking at things for myself, following some not good people uh, in the industry. I'm going to tell you that they're, they're out there, um, you know, so um I did that and, and I kind of went down some um, bad paths 
following um, a couple of people. I got started in short-term rental arbitrage. That's what I'm doing right now is arbitrage. I have two units that I arbitrage um, remotely. One is in Texas, the other one is in Georgia. And, um, and I just felt like I, I was still kind of fighting battles that maybe I, I should have gotten a little bit more teaching, you know, um, to figure out. I felt like I was still making mistakes that maybe coaching and a good mentorship would help me to not make those same mistakes. Is there any and, particular uh, example you could give us of maybe some of these uh, challenges that you were facing? Um, guests. Um, one of the, you know, targeting the right guests. Um, I had no real guest avatar. I, I kind of fell into, oh, I want to travel, travel nurses uh, and what have you. I'm a nurse. I know what, you know, what they need, what have you. Um, but that's not always what you get. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to um, know what type of guests you want and how to vet those guests and how to um, kind of look ahead to make sure that you're not receiving the, the, the wrong type of guests. Um, so knowing your guest avatar um, and really marketing for that guest avatar. So that was um, one thing that I didn't learn um, from, you know, the, the research that I did before that I have learned um, with um, Dr. Rachel's program. So. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just don't understand that that can be really where you should start is figuring out who it is you're trying to attract mm -hmm. right uh, mm -hmm. if you don't know your, who your customer is you can't you can't very efficiently provide them a product that they're looking for <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and yeah you end up with any assortment of random types of people coming to <laughs> stay with right. you right? it's not always pleasant <laughs> right <laughs> okay well so what was what was the turning point for you that helped you to a decide that you needed to find someone who could really do some more handholding and, and then how was it that you came across Rachel and, and decided that she was your person? Well, like I said, I, I started in arbitrage and I had a coach um, there and um, started with, you know, did the arbitrage. Um, but I still, my, my whole why, I'm going to take you to my why. My why is um, I did this also for freedom mm -hmm. um, with, with my nursing career. Um, I always felt like I wasn't welcome at the table for whatever reason. So my why it was to build my own table. My why was to create my own freedom. And so short-term rental arbitrage still limits you. There's still some limitations there. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, I joke with Dr. Rachel and tell her I stalked her. <laughs> <laughs> I found her on Clubhouse um found her on clubhouse and i i would listen to her speak and her her speaking uh resonated with me um she was also in medical industry um her why you know resonated with me um as to why she was doing it and she also spoke to me as far as um i have this you know when i was in management my thing was always to work smarter not harder mm -hmm. And she, and that's what she, to me, embodied when she says, I have the least amount of doors that bring in the most, you know, the most amount of profit. Mm -hmm. And that resonated. I said, ding, that is, what I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to have 200 units. Um, I'm trying to have, if I could get 10 units that can bring me, you know, to a comfortable spot comfortable spot um, of 200 units, then I'm fine with 10 units. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. so that, that was the connection. And, um, and when I spoke with her, um, she's always available as far as um, she may, you know, not available, like I can just dial up and hey, you know, she's going to answer, but um, available, like she was uh, present. Mm -hmm. And in my in our conversations, she's she's always present, and even in the the messages, she's present. In the, and and to me, there's a difference between um, someone who's on the phone with you and someone um, who is present in that conversation. 
And so she's always been present in the conversation um, and understanding what I want and how to get me there. So that's that's immediately I was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm hooked. This is the person that's going to get me where I need to go. That's awesome. Uh, what would you say have been the biggest shifts in your in your business ever since you came on board and started working with Dr. Rachel? Um, my occupancy rate. Um, let alone my occupancy rate um, last month was almost 80%. Um, I started in December, which is a slow season, uh -huh. um, but still in, in the mid kind of populated areas. But even with some of the tools that she has brought to the mentorship groups, I put, put them into action. And I feel like that is why my occupancy has, has grown um, in that last month, because I, I put them into action um and you know it, it it just really everything that she says made sense so i was like well let me do that and i saw results um so for me that was the biggest difference and also listening to her module on air dna oh my gosh i was enamored <laughs> with how she broke that down. I've never ever seen or heard anyone break air DNA down. Like that is that's a boot camp, a five-day boot camp all in itself. And and the way that she broke it down, like I did not do that when I began arbitrage. I did not understand air DNA when I first was picking my units. Now Oh my gosh, I feel like I can I can do air DNA and know exactly what I'm getting into in any area of the country. Like the, the module is just so fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it really does make a huge difference when you're able to do a thorough analysis of a location before you even decide if that's your location, right? Because if you if you try to fix a problem after you're already in it, it's a lot harder to come out from under something that may not be workable, right? Yeah. So being able to do your research thoroughly before you even pull that trigger mm -hmm. is a game changer. Uh, sometimes I, there's some kind of a phrase that I've heard, like the best deals are often the deals that you walk away from, or the best deal for you is often the, the fact that you knew to walk away from the deal or something like that. <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's really, uh, imperative that we get into the deals right from the get-go and if you don't have the knowledge of how to analyze it properly in order to make that decision based on actual data then you may be always trying to <laughs> to recover from something that's just never going to really work like you want right right absolutely and i and i feel like um the the teaching and the explanation it was um, not, I don't want to say dummies, but it was for someone like myself who, um, this is all brand new. This is so brand new to me still. I learn stuff every day. Um, but the way that she just, you know, she just broke it down to me. Um, I, I just, I couldn't even believe all that information was on that screen and I didn't even realize it. I, I, you know, <laughs> Where, where was that? And and then I go back to it. And I was like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> and, so, and that's what she got from that. And so it was just, oh my gosh, it's mind boggling. So um, to have someone to really teach you and show you this is how you are successful with this. You know, it's not just about getting a unit. You know, it's not that. You know, you can you can find a unit um, that it is kind of difficult when you're arbitraging, but once you get it, okay, you got to make the money to sustain it. You you have to have the processes and procedures to sustain it. So how are you going to sustain it, and how are you going to make it profitable? You know. Yeah. So did you have both of your units before you started with Dr. Rachel? Yes, I did, and I, I probably wouldn't have. 
<laughs> so, okay. So that's a good thing to, to realize that uh, for anyone who's watching, Annette thinks she might not have picked those locations if she had gotten started with Dr. Rachel first, but now she's trying to make them work at the best she can. And now she knows that with her next one, what, what to do different, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. I'm working um, with um, Dr. Rachel on ownership because I feel like arbitrage is good and it's really helped me to um, learn a lot before, um, you know, doing ownership. But I feel like ownership is definitely the way I, I see that immediately um, to do what I want to do um, as far as my growth and scaling. And um, I'm working with her right now to, on, on a project to hopefully get done soon. So um, that's like exciting. I really, yeah, I'm very excited about it. And and like I just the, the potential for this property is just is just great. And I could see it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like I could see it. And so I don't know. I'm really excited about it, but I'm trying to be cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about um, this particular property that um, she's helped you to be able to to figure out in terms of acquiring it? Um, basically, whether or not, first of all, was it, is it a good location? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, number one. Number two, is it is it going to be um, profitable? And am I going to be able to sustain the profit? Mm -hmm. And where is, um, where are going to be my highs and where are going to be my lows? Um, the pricing, what, what am I going to be, what am I going to be able to price, you know, this unit, you know, how am I going to be able to um, utilize this unit for the next unit? So that's all, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a proactive um, nurse than a reactive nurse. You, you mm. won't find me in an emergency room anywhere. I don't like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proactive nurse. So prevent disasters um, before they happen, right? <laughs> yeah, I like to handle disasters before they happen. So um, how do I make this property work for the next property? And so she has opened my mind to all of those possibilities. You know, like I don't have to have a million dollars to be able to do this. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What would you say has been your biggest aha moment uh, contrasting what you know now from having worked with her uh, closely as a coach and a mentor versus when you were trying to do all this research on your own and figure things out? Because there's a lot of people out there who you know, think, well, you know, there's all this information on YouTube. There's all this information on Google. I can go out and figure this out. Airbnb seems pretty straightforward. I can just post my listing and make money. And, and, you know, a lot of people do that. A lot of people start doing short-term rentals without really any coaching and they do, they can make money. What would you say was the biggest aha moment that you had contrasting that situation? Cause you were there versus now working very tightly with a mentor and a coach who's getting you to these upper levels of operations. So working um, with Dr. Rachel, I mean, there've been a lot of aha moments. Um, just the proof in the pudding, um, bringing in different um, speakers, uh, be different people who are experienced on, on a much higher level than I am. Um, I would say the, the hair DNA was the aha moment. The biggest me. thing, yeah. The, the, that whole module was, it, it just gave me life. It, it gave me life because I was like, oh my gosh, this lady is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> she, she knows exactly what she is talking about. Um, you know, I mean, I, I know I'm okay with numbers, but the way that she does it is just a whole another phenomenal, uh, masterclass. Like it really is. Um, and I am like, I was skeptical about, uh, mentorship. I thought I could be one of those people who could do YouTube and maybe pay for a boot camp or, or, or a class here and there and, and get by. But being in the program with um, Dr. Rachel, the, the weekly sessions, the um, all the tools and resources that she provides has, has been great. 
for me um, with my arbitrage still and the, and now with the possible ownership that's coming up, you know, so um, and the whole, okay, arbitrage is good, but ownership is better. <laughs> right. <laughs> and would you say that there have been new ideas provided to you about how to accomplish ownership that you didn't think were possible before? Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Because I think um, that's a lot of reason why people automatically start with arbitrage because they, they have a very uh, narrow view of what they think they are capable of financially. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I can't qualify for a big house or I can't qualify for a second house. I've already got one or my credit's bad or, you know, how, how would I ever own? I think I just better go rent something and then, and then, you know, use, use that method. When in reality, I think what people don't realize about so many aspects of this business is, is that there's just there's strategies and creative ways to do things that you just may not realize mm -hmm. and uh if you just have someone who can kind of widen your perspective and show you oh but did you look at this and this and this way over here on the on the outskirts of what you've been doing you've been focused right here but there's all these things on the outside that you can implement that you didn't even know existed mm -hmm. i think that's where in my experience, having a coach has been the biggest game changer. It's just, you, I mean, you, this is a very cliche thing to say that people say all the time about different things, but you just don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't know what you're missing or what to look for, then you'll never find it because you don't know to look for it until someone tells you about it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking exactly that. I was thinking exactly that you don't know what you don't know. And, um, that that goes back to the people that Dr. Rachel brings in when she brings in these experts um, that talks about the different types of loans. I didn't even understand it or didn't know that a DSCR loan exists. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, what, what is that? And I've, I've purchased multiple houses before, right? <laughs> <laughs> so all of these different types of loans and how you can qualify because I, I'm that person who doesn't have a W-2. So I was like, I'm not, who's going to give me a house and I don't have a W-2? Like, mm -hmm. that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and you get someone, you know, who um, is on Dr. Rachel's level, who understands the obstacles that other people have Okay, well, let's let's figure out how to get around that. Okay, we get around it by DSCR law. You know, that's that's you know, and and all the different other things you can do, and and how to you know use your other properties and things of that nature. It's been so much that I've learned about financing property. Um, when arbitrage, it sounds good because the main thing that's the selling point is you don't have to own property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the selling point. But you can you can still own property um, and not have the best credit in the world and not have a bank load of money. You can still, but you know, that's the other side of it. You can still do it. And a lot of people don't realize that that's possible. Right. But now I know it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so excited to hear how this potential deal uh, comes comes to comes about. I would really be looking forward to hearing all about, you know, the numbers and, and how you were able to close on it and what happens afterwards. That's really exciting. Uh, so uh, as a final kind of uh, commentary to anyone considering, should I have a coach? Should, is Dr. Rachel the person for me? Can I, is it really worth my, my time and effort and money to, to invest in someone like her to help me take this business from where it is even, or maybe they haven't even started, like you had started already, maybe they haven't started. What what would you say would be your final uh, plug for working with Dr. Rachel? So working with Dr. Rachel, you're gonna get a wealth of information you, and, and not the same information. You're not gonna get the same um, how to start your business, um, how to build an LLC, all of that. You're not going to get all of that same redundant information that you hear um, on Instagram, Facebook, and, and what have you. You're going to get deeper levels of that information. 
you know, how to maintain. Um, when I started with Dr. Rachel, one of the things that I did share with her, um, and I believe Carol, who onboarded me, um, was yes, I was taught how to get a property, but I wasn't taught how to sustain that property and how to make that property profitable. Mm -hmm. That's what you get in Dr. Rachel's class. That's 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 the de deal breaker for me um, with getting, do, do I get a coach or do I not get a coach of Dr. Rachel's caliber? That was it. Do you wanna sustain this or are you doing this for a hobby? For me, it wasn't a hobby. This was something that I was taking on as I said, to learn how to do the show, my daughter, to really create generational wealth. Mm -hmm. So that was the that was it for me. Um, if if you're into you know arbitrage, there's nothing wrong with arbitrage. I don't I don't want to say that, um, but there's other ways of getting the same job done and more That's, efficiently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's awesome. I'm so excited for you. And I am really uh, glad that you were able to hop on and kind of share your experience mm -hmm. with me because uh, it's always good to hear about people's experience uh, taking what they were doing, which may have been working out okay, but then just flipping that totally on its head and blowing it up to where now it's a real machine. It's really cranking out the results that they had always hoped for, but just didn't know how to get to, you know. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to take it to the, I, I think Dr. Rachel for me has been the next level. You know, there, there's, you start out and you have to list on Airbnb and you have to find a place and, you know, and all of that is fine. Um, but for me, Dr. Rachel has been the next level. Okay, I have the place now. Now, what do I do to sustain, to be able to get another place and to own, um, own these properties? So, Hopefully I have some good news uh, real <laughs> soon. And, um, you know, it's, it's been wonderful for me. It's, it's the best money I have spent in this entire journey, which has probably been about a year now. It's the best money I've spent. Absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you again so much, Annette. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to sit and chat with me for a few minutes and uh, wish you all the best mm -hmm. as you get closer and closer to getting this new property under your belt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and hopefully you'll come back and talk to us about it once you do. Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.